Good morning, everybody. Well, this is surely interesting. My phone wouldn't rotate this morning, so I'm coming to you vertically instead of horizontally, <laughs> whatever. But first, let's take a sip of coffee. Good morning, Tracy. Oh, so yeah, I couldn't get my phone to flip the right way, so um, straight up and down it is. And um, hopefully when I flip it into the clip here, I can get it to go the right way. <laughs> we'll work on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this shared over to the creative group. Oh my goodness. So how's everybody doing this morning? You guys making anything fun? I participated in a fundraiser yesterday for Australian firefighters and uh, we raised something like $4,000 um, in their money. So it's like, I think it's like 3,000 here because it was 30 Australian to get into the, to the fundraiser. And um, I think it works out to about 21 in the US, but um, I can't find the video. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it and we'll share it later. Um, hopefully, um, actually, if someone is here and sees this and they're a part of our creative group, if you could share this over to Creating with Celine for me, I appreciate it. Okay, that way more people can kind of come and find us. Um, so I started working this morning on uh, retreat gifts and um, for retreat, I kind of go crazy. Uh, the story behind it is my best friend Dawn and I decided about four, four and a half years ago that we were going to start doing uh, creative weekend getaways. Um, she had been going to them for years and years and I had never um, been to very many, but I wanted to start doing them to serve my current um, friends and bring people together for a whole weekend and give them a six foot table that they could use for themselves. And um, I attended a couple and um, I uh, decided that I wanted mine to be a little bit different. So every time I host a retreat, there are um, these magical things called pillow gifts. And when you sit down to your desk, you get your first one. It's usually your name plaque, but um, I decided that if I was going to go away with my friends, what would I want? What would make me feel extra special when I sit down to the table? So this morning I'm working out half of one of my pillow gifts for um, <clears throat> the upcoming March retreat. I, did, I have this private Facebook group for the retreat and um, they all voted that they wanted to have our uh, Saturday night party be St. Patrick's Day themed. Now, the last one we did in October, it was uh, Halloween and we had a costume contest and it was off the hook. People dressed up. My friend Joanne um, was absolutely horrifying. And if I didn't know that it was her under the mask she was wearing, I would have been completely not sleeping that night. It was awesome. In fact, I bought a shirt for the weekend and um, I thought it was funny. I, um, you know, addiction runs in my family and, um, you know, I bought a Smashing Pumpkins kind of shirt. It said, let's get smashed and it had a big pumpkin on the front. And uh, we got to the retreat center and it was my plan to wear that during the day just as something funny to wear around the, uh, the room. And I found out that we were sharing the religious retreat center with a men's AA group. Needless to say, the shirt never made it out of my bag <laughs> because I would never offend anybody on purpose. And it was just kind of, I thought it was funny when I bought the shirt, you know, smashing pumpkins like the band, ha ha ha, let's get smashed. But like, I would never, um, you know, addiction runs in my family. In fact, I love food. So like, <laughs> you know, we're all addicted to something. Um, and maybe coffee yeah but this isn't too bad it doesn't um oh, yeah just saying anyway i'm gonna move right along so i decided that um i was gonna buy 25 boxes of thin mints for retreat i have not opened the package i swear <laughs> because once they're opened 
they disappear. It's like the, the uh, leprechauns come and steal them. Hi, Mary Jo. And next thing you know, the whole package is gone. So I'm gonna flip the camera. And again, I'm sorry that I'm vertical. I couldn't, my phone, you know, whatever. But we'll, we're all here and we're gonna figure it out and the crafting will be great. So um, let's flip the camera and I'll cover up the, actually, this isn't too bad. I think I've got the clip right. So let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, so you guys remember the box math worksheet, right? I really need to get a paper towel for my coffee because it's happy this morning. <clears throat> it's like making a mess on my table. I don't even, Laura is gonna be totally disappointed in me because I don't have a destination cup this morning. Um, but I'll work on that for next week, Laura. Okay, so. First thing I did was I took a ruler and um, I started to play with this box. And, I, and I'm not completely done yet, by the way, um, but I wanted you to see how this works. So we need a pen and a ruler and our little box math worksheet. Our Girl Scout cookies are measuring in at six inches. Good morning, Debbie. And um, so the inside of the box is six inches long and we want the box to be the height two inches tall, like this, right? So two. And then uh, we gotta do the other side. So the other side is gonna be two by two by two. Okay, so six, eight, 10 by six, there's our box map. And then the cover, um, <laughs> I know it's magical. Um, the cover, I don't necessarily want it to be as tall as the cookie. I think I might like the cover to be um, maybe an inch. So again, we would go, the inside we know, right? It's six, um, but <clears throat> by two. But the height of the box, so, so this sheet goes, height on the outside, inside of the box, height, and then that equals what we cut our paper. So uh, the height, I want it to be um, different. I want the tops to be one inch all the way around. So six, seven, eight by four. Now, I'm gonna shut the heat off, just so you guys can hear me. So, in comes this Pleased as Punch designer series paper, and oh my gosh, I don't wanna cut it. It's so pretty. This one um, marries up to the Umbrella Punch bundle, and this is the back. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it just makes me so happy. And then um, you get three sheets of each in a pack, and you can see that I have already punched one of the, of the umbrellas out, see? And then um, on the back of this one, of course, is raindrops. Um, this one goes with the punch from the celebration book, the one that's um, free with a $100 order. And again, oh my gosh, I'm not sure that I wanna cut it, but this is what I was planning because it's a, a St. Patrick's Day party to put my Thin Mints in. Hello, Lucky Charms. Um, so that's that. And then this one goes with this. Okay. So this morning I'm going to cut into this cause I haven't played with this yet and I'm not courting this design yet. Um, and then the last pattern, so there's three of each of four designs is this awesome gingham. And on the back, of course, this goes with the two, the heart, uh, the heart punch bundle. So you can punch the inside straight heart and then punch the scalloped and layer them up if you want like a lot of extra give. Um, or you can go in and just punch this with the scalloped because it's gonna have, the ink is gonna make your layer and it will visually be two layers. I hope that's making sense. Um, but it is gorgeous paper and I can't wait to start playing with it. It is now available for order. And um, the item number is here. It's 153558. 
And um, the colors, which is really cool, this comes on the back. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but on the back of most of our designer series paper, they give us what colors are included. It's not limited to that. So I found other colors in current paper that's not listed, but Balmy Blue was the uh, Raindrops. Blushing Bride is this checkerboard. Um, Calypso Coral. Jeez, let's see if we can find it. Go fish. There it is. Um, Crushed Curry is the is the orange color there. Uh, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape. Hello, and look, it's like in there with the uh, with the balmy blue. I would never think to put those together. What a good idea. Um, Highland Heather is the lighter purple. Oh, maybe that's what that is. It, I see balmy blue and Highland Heather in there. Um, Cool Party, Petal Pink, Whisper White. Wow, just a few colors. All right, so let's go back to the box for a minute and we're just gonna practice on this one. So um, we're gonna start with a piece of paper that's 10 by six. And um, on the bottom of the box, we're gonna cut a 16th of an inch off, remember? So, um, cut 1 16th off two sides to start. Now, if you forget to do that, it's no big deal. You can um, add that 16th of an inch to this side. So, it's not that big a deal, but, um, in designer series paper world, we wanna preserve. So I've put this on my paper cutter and I am one line before the 10 inch marker. So 1 16th of an inch smaller than 10 by six. So same thing on this side, I'm on the six inch marker, but I'm gonna go 1 16th of an inch smaller. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you are closed up with this, this is kinda of cool, ready? I love this paper cutter. It is my, I haven't changed this blade since I got it. Um, and you were gonna line up on the six inch marker, guess what? There's a there's a whole stopper here at six inches for you. So I cut six inches minus a 16th, so it's got a little gap there, but um, it's a nice little runner there for you to stop on if you're cutting a six inch marker. Okay, so now, where do we score it? So we're gonna come back to the box math sheet and the height of the box is where we're gonna score it. We're gonna score it on two inches all the way around. So that's visually, that's where we're going with that. And if you're not um, a member of my creative group, even me this morning, I went to the creative group under files and picked this um, sheet up to, to print out so I always know where it is because it's on the creative group under files. I love doing that for myself because it helps me remember. So I'm gonna score this on two inches all the way around because I've already made my trim. Like I already made the, small, the bottom of the box smaller, right? Retreat is one of my favorite things. Okay, so here we go. We've got, um, it's scored on four sides at two inches because that's how tall I need my box to be for my cookies. And then when I cut this out, I'm gonna, um, whew, I'm gonna cut it, I swear. I'm gonna get there. We cut up to the line and stop. And I'm gonna cut a little bit out of the middle to get this box to sit nice and flat for me. I'm not gonna mess with the integrity of the box by cutting the outside, but this little flap is gonna sit in the middle and nobody's gonna see it anyway. So I'm gonna even um, make it nice and snug on both sides. And I'll trim it up after, but I'm gonna put adhesive here and then um, it put adhesive here and then uh, when I go to fold up the box, it's gonna fold up like this, so you see. I hope that was easy to see. So I'm gonna put adhesive here and here. 
and I'm gonna put this side down, stick this to it, and then put that side on top. And then this will sit nice and tight. And then I will have a sleeve for my Girl Scout cookies that looks like this. Okay, so that's easy enough. And then um, I'm gonna take, like I said, the green pattern, this one, and I'm gonna cut the top of this, um, so eight by four. So this one I can cut um, at the just at the right length. Because I made the top of the box a smidge smaller, right? This is kind of like this part of the video is like a review, but I'm gonna change it in a minute because I want I want you to see where my brain was going when I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to use a third of the sheet. So if I am making 50 boxes. Um, I'm going to need a lot of packs of paper because even though there's three pack, there's three sheets in a pack, I would need just to make nine boxes. I'd need, um, that, you know, that all match because hello, I'm going to go on this side of the score mark this time. So I'm on the other side of the paper cutter measuring this, which is fine. And then I can slide it over and go to the one inch on this side. Um, but I would need, um, what, three, so nine, 18, I need four to make 36. So like when I'm, I'm making 50 of these, I want to make sure that, um, I'm going to have enough paper. So although this is an awesome design, we're going to have to do the box math a little bit different. So, um. Here we go. I'm gonna cut up the middle. Now, um, that's for the top of this box. I'm, I've decided that this is gonna be the side of the box. Oh, look at how cute that is. All right, we'll pretend that we're not putting Girl Scout cookies in it because now that I cut into it, I kind of like this paper. <laughs> I was planning to use this side, which is why I scored on this side because I always fold towards the hump because if something's gonna stick up and I fold this way, it has a chance to stick up more if I score on that side. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, no, oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. You could put anything in here, but honestly, it, these are custom sized boxes. So if you're using the worksheet, you should be able to change the box to make it any way that you want. <clears throat> and I'm sorry I'm not seeing your comments right now. I am. Um, I'll come back and we'll read comments together after because something's going on and I can't get it on my laptop. But that's okay. Um, my assistant Diane and I are planning an online class that will be in a private Facebook group and you can send away for a packet and I will mail you the packet before we go live. And then I will upload some videos before the class even goes live. And then um, we'll go live together and do prize patrol and I, I'll have my assistant with me so she can monitor comments if something like this happens and I'm not seeing them. Okay, so here's the topper. <laughs> it looks like the cookies are stacked that way to me so I'm gonna put the box top on this way. And because we cut 16th of an inch off two sides on the bottom. This has a nice snug fit. So that's the first way we can make a box. But then again, I was thinking about it and at retreat, I really don't want um, to have that amount of paper. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make a box this is where my, this is how my brain works. <laughs> this video should be titled, How Celine's Brain Works. Um, I want a box that goes this way um, and stands up tall and then the cover will go on this way. Does that make sense? So um, let's go back to the drawing board. Um, we know that our Girl Scout cookies need like a two inch box, right? And we know that this is six inches tall. Wow, I wonder if there's a hole in my bag. 
Oh no, it's open. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Too funny. Um, wow, total distraction. So I'm gonna say six plus two is eight. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna take this box math sheet and start making new, new notes to make a box, right? Oh, if I keep like dropping it, it's definitely gonna need to be opened and eaten. Maybe, maybe Brian can help me with that. Honey, <laughs> there's no bees today. I have Girl Scout cookies. Do you wanna eat them? They'll be like all over that. Let's see. We're all team players here in the Kempton household. Hey, I need to get a pen one second. I don't know what happened to mine. Oh, it fell off the table. Well, this pen actually has a cover. This was a, an add-on for one of the retreats that I ordered, um, so it's got my logo on it. But anyway, if we're going around two inches at a time, it would be two, four, six, eight, and then you need something to hold on to. So it would be eight and a half by six plus two is eight. So you, are you with me so far? Um, and then we're gonna score at two all the way across the long side. And on the bottom side, the eight, we're also gonna score at two, but only on one side. So that's my plan. Say a little prayer that it works out because I haven't tried this one yet. But that's what you do when you make boxes. Sometimes you mess them up until you get them right. So eight and a half by eight, which means I need to take my 11 inch paper and cut it down. To eight. So this is eight and a half by 11 and I'm cutting it right on the eight inch marker. Actually, well, do I wanna make this smaller? No, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna make the cover smaller cause it'll be easier to do, I mean the cover bigger. It'll be easier to do the math on that side. So here's eight by eight and a half. And then I'm gonna take the long side, the eight and a half side and score it every two inches. So um, two. Four. Oh goodness, I gotta get my hand on it. Four. Six. Eight. Okay. And then this is gonna be going the long way, right? So that's the height, that's right now my box is eight inches tall, but it doesn't have a bottom. So um, we know that the Girl Scout cookies are two inches wide. So we'll score at two inches that way. And we'll have a go at this. So the first thing I think I wanna do is I wanna take care of this little flap. Um, I think that we'll angle it here so that Nothing shows up when we close the box. And I'll angle it here as well. And I'll just cut this little piece away here. Looking good so far. And so this will be the bottom of the box. It's gonna stand up like this, right? So I'm gonna trim it up to the bottom of the box, up to where it's gonna stand up. I think I like this one. I think that's gonna be like the true bottom of my box. So I'm gonna just really give this a nice haircut here. That's not like super flush. I don't wanna like, I don't want my box to get bulky. So I'm gonna try it this way. I'm just gonna go right down the line. Gotta love unscripted. Hopefully this works. All right. And then there are no accidents in crafting. There are only embellishment opportunities. So we've got one, two, three. 
and this guy is gonna be uh, the bottom bottom, so I'm gonna put adhesive face up on that one, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna take my box and bring this side over and down. Now you could do this with liquid glue and it's much more forgiving because you have a minute to set up. I'm using Fast Fuse, well, because it's fast. Um, I know we stopped selling it. I, I'm a hoarder and I have some, so I'm gonna put, um, actually, I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna stick one to the other and one to the other. And then here's the one that I did upside down, remember? And that will stick face up. And now I'm all kind of snug and tug, snug and tight in there. And then this one that was hanging over, no big deal. Can't even tell. Okay, so now <laughs> my broken Girl Scout cookies will fit in there. Okay, so how big, I hope I can see your product. I'm gonna go look and see if I can log back on and see you. Cause this is driving me a little bonkers but i can't see your comments i wonder how big we want the topper to be i know that the inside of this needs to be a little bit bigger than two um so that it will fit over the top right a sixteenth of an inch um if i did so two if i go two inches on either side then i'll get um four out of a piece of paper, but it's got to be like a little bit bigger. So how about if we make this, oh, I know you're going to hate me for this one and seven eighths and the sides will still be two. So now the, and, and this is going to be square. So we only need one measurement. So it'll be, um, six minus, um, a 16th of an inch or an eighth of an inch. We'll say a 16th. So and 15 16 oh my god it's going to be one line so it's really it's really 2 plus 2 plus 2 but i need to add um an inch i mean a, a 16th of an inch in there somewhere so i have to add it in here um oh so i need to make this bigger hmm this is interesting how do i get it to work well let's use a a, a scrap paper first <sighs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna cut it six by six, and I'm gonna score it at one and seven eighths all the way around to make the inside bigger. So let's try that, and then we'll we'll do it with the um, with the rainbow paper at the end. So instead of um, getting nine out of a pack of paper, I'll get twelve out of a pack of paper, which means I'll need five packs for sixty boxes, um, which is a little bit better. Um, supplies wise because of what I ordered so I'm gonna go to the two inch marker I hope you're seeing that and I'm gonna I'm not gonna do um, two I'm gonna do like one and seven or 15 16 so all the way around so it's two minus a smidge how's that but my the in that will make the inside of my box larger because I'm subtracting it off the edge of the box it's it's such a small amount it wouldn't be like visibly noticeable that it's smaller but it would be enough that you can get your box cover on which is our goal again I like the side bigger <laughs> isn't that the way okay I still can't see comments it's fine all right, so hmm, I'm going to cut into this. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the bottom. I'm going to cut um, into this. This I can cut a little shorter just so it stays out of the way, nice and tidy doesn't have to be perfect it's the inside of the box if you're at retreat and you look at the inside of the box and it's crooked enjoy the cookies
because there would be nothing else to complain about at the whole weekend. <laughs> All right, so let's put a little adhesive on this. Um, let's see where we wanna go. Okay, so we're gonna put adhesive here and here. And then, um, because this is the side that's gonna close it up, we'll put it there. So I'll stick this to this face out. Oh, did I not do it right? I didn't do it right because of the change in, but that's okay. I'll make the um, the cookie box a little smaller when I go the second swipe and I actually make, you know, a bazillion of these. So we'll just pretend that doesn't, that didn't happen. But that's what you do. Like you have to work it out. I mean, it still closes and everything, but I want it to go tight to the edge. I will post the measurements of the good box when I'm done. And see, it's a little too big because I went 16th on both sides. So um, for this to work better, it'll have to be 16th on one side. Now, another way, and, and I just come up with, I just come up with the other way that I'm gonna fix this. So we're gonna go six by six and we're gonna score it too. And look, I am so confident that it's gonna work. We're gonna cut the real deal because um, these cookies will be magically delicious for our St. Patrick's Day party. And look, I'm right up against that lip because it's the six inch marker and I don't even have to look at it. Yay for that. And then two. So another way that you can make the top a little bit bigger than two is when you're assembling, that felt like it didn't score. It just barely scored. All right. You can make the, um, you can angle the edges out just a little. So I'll show you that and how we're gonna fix it. Cause honestly, when you get into that 16th of an inch garbage, it really does mess with me. I don't, oh, I didn't score one slide. Here we go. So for this one, I'm gonna make the, the sides of the box pretty. So when I cut this, I am gonna cut it on the line, and, and this is like, because it's hard to see, I'm gonna um, do it this way. And instead of cutting the middle down shorter, I'm gonna tuck the edges in like this. So this is gonna give me um, some give when I put my box together, the top of it. So I'm gonna cut these middles pristine because that'll be the one with all the adhesive on it that sticks to everything at the end. And then again, um, if I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna trim the side that's gonna sl slip in here. And um, I'm actually gonna trim the outside as well because this is how we can make it bigger. If I trim the outside, when I swing this in, I can physically make the top of my box bigger when I assemble it here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the insides and the outsides to make it nice and uh, tidy. It's like a, my grandmother's word, tidy. Tidy edges. The St. Patrick's thing, I think. First generation Irish. I realized when I started making videos, when I say my first name, Celine, on video, that I do say it with a brogue, and I think that's because that's how my mom says it. I know you guys can laugh. I'm well. What's even funnier is that I'm in a room talking by myself because I can't see your comments. Darn computers. Oh, I found you, yay, there you are. All right, I got you. Here we go, eat some. <laughs> Christine, girl, we are spirit twins, you got me, I will be. 
All right, so I'm gonna slide this open a little bit. So this was six by two. I scored it at two on all four sides. And now when I'm, I'm letting in my 16th of an inch here instead, whoops. And I'm gonna put these sides that I trimmed out a little bit. So like, I don't wanna waste my paper and I still wanna give it a nice gift, but I want them to have magically delicious there, see, and it is. So now I really could have put it on before I fast fused it and then tightened it up. So you can tighten it around the box when you're closing it, but um, this sits on nice and snug. So, all right. I'm gonna, um, oh, well, actually, here, let me show you. I got a few more things to show. I've got, um, some cards that I did yesterday for a fun, the fundraiser for uh, the Australian um, firefighters. And um, I showed them a little bit about this one. We did this on a live and how to do the lifter and then stamping on vellum and overlaying it on top. This is gonna be one of the cards from my upcoming class with um, Diane Giarusso. Uh, we're gonna do a, a Facebook live class. And uh, look, it's got Wink Estella underneath and it sparkles. Um, if you were at Bingo, you're going to recognize these cards. And then um, I pulled out this set, um, Pedal to the Metal? I don't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry. But I was showing how to color with um, classic markers and blend, and we've done that before. Remember for Alexis's um, uh, Girl Scouts, actually, we, we still are making cards for the troops. And how wonderful would that be as just a plain card colored in a box that goes with gifts to people who are serving overseas. Um, and then when I'm gonna layer up a note card, I always trim it. So I took an eighth of an inch off the side here and here because if I layer a regular note card and then try to get it in and out of the envelope, it doesn't kind of sit well so um, this makes it easy for it to sit um, and I can layer it up and know that I'll still be able to get it in and out of the envelope. Um, and there was one other thing that I had to show you. Oh, I hope I can find it. I might have buried it on the table. There was a card from, yay, I got a Valentine's Day card in the mail from Lynn. Um, you may see her, you may know her on Facebook as Lynn Sparkling Stamper. She is um, in my first level and she lives in New Hampshire and she couldn't be at the last meeting and she sent me a card. So thank you and shout out to Lynn. I love your beautiful card. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera so that I can take a look at your comments and we can have a talk. Hang on. There we go. You're looking at the garage door opener, see? Good morning, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Good to see you. Hi, Cindy. Christine, I love you too, my friend. Yeah, I got it. So I'm still working out the box, but I think um, this is gonna be a winner. And when I put the cover on at the end, I'll um, make sure that I do it when it's on the box, you know? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip through your comments here. I'm gonna pull the computer close so I don't have my back to you. It's nice to be finally connected to the internet. It's like my um, my laptop is just like me and it needs to um, warm up in the morning. <laughs> needs a little coffee to get started. Let's see. I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions about the box math? It's kind of crazy. We have that worksheet on the creative group. I will post it here. And um, Someone sent me a private message about uh, Girl Scout cookie sales. And although Alexis can no longer order uh, cookies to be delivered here, friends on the internet can. Um, I just shipped um, a whole bunch of boxes of, of Girl Scout cookies here because I'm giving them a retreat. Um, and I'm starting to make that. I'm putting the finishing touches on retreat actually. And I know it sounds weird because it's like a month away, but um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And um, just as soon as I said that we were gonna flip the camera so that we could see comments, now I can't see comments anymore. Hey, technology. 
Okay. Well, anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful week. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the thread. <laughs> and I'll answer the old fashioned way. I'll type it in. Um, but I do have an errand to run this morning, so it won't be until later on this afternoon because I am running out the door. Um, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I hope that you have time to do something crafty for yourself. And um, if not, you can buy a treat for someone, and it doesn't have to be, you know, Valentine's Day for me is not necessarily about romantic love. Don't get me wrong, I love to celebrate my husband, but I also like to celebrate everybody in my life, my family, my friends. Um, so, so Valentine's Day should be about loving everybody. So that's what I, it's one of my favorite holidays. And I, I always do a hangout on, um, the, the, on the Halloween, on the, on the Valentine's night so that we can all be together. So if you're in the neighborhood and you would like to join us, uh, for the annual Valentine hangout, I'm having a card buffet. Actually, you want to see that? So I'm going to have at least 12 cards prepped and ready to go. But right now, ooh, here, I got my, it's weird being this way. Um, I've got 12 started. So there it is. So that's the beginning of my card buffet for Friday night. And I've got a whole bunch. And what you do is you come in, you can make as many cards as you want. And um, when the bucket's done, I just clean it up. I have things that take a long time. I have things that you stamp and it takes two seconds and multiple sentiments. And um, we're just going to hang out and have some fun. Everything's pre-cut. Let's uh, have a crafty night. So see you guys next Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. And um, talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.